Good afternoon, everyone. We did it. 2017 Bowman Baseball. It's a hobby case, full case hobby, random team break number three from jazbeeshobbyland.com. It's going to be a long break, so settle in. Here's all the folks that got into the action. Thank you very much, everybody. We combo a couple teams. Orioles, Marlins are comboed, and Mariners and Rays are comboed. Let's roll the dice. Randomize each list seven times. Lucky seven. Four and a three. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. We got Michael Yin on the pole and Tammy in the number 28 spot. Four and a three, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Mets on the pole and the Braves in the number 28 spot. All right, here we go. So, Michael, you have the Mets. Mike Koontz with the A's. Todd with the Red Sox. John, you got the Orioles and Marlins combo. Steve Harris, White Sox. Joe P, Cardinals. Darren McKenzie, Blue Jays. John Parker, Indians. Joe, Dodger Joe Mojo right here. Mike Koontz with the Giants. Brett with the Nationals. Michael G, Padres. Carter, you got the Phillies in this one. Corey K, Rangers. Colin with the Brewers. Jimmy, you got the Twins. Justin with the Cubs. Allen, Reds. David Kist, Astros. Tim with the Royals. Steve Harris with the Rockies. Joe P, Mariners and Rays combo. Michael G, Last Spot Mojo, Diamondbacks. Ken Saito, Angels. Alan Murdoch, Tigers. John Parker with the Pirates. Michael Z with the Yankees. And Tammy with the Atlanta Braves. So there you go. That's the uh, randomizing portion of the video. I'm gonna pause the video boop, with a boop. And when we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break. Settle in folks, it's gonna be a long one. Boop. All right, welcome back, folks. There were no trades in this break. So here is the final list on the 11th Thursday, random team break number three. There's everybody right there. We do have one more case. So we did post another random team break up on the website, jazbeeshobbyland.com. I thought we had only one left. Turns out we had two left. So we can run another one of these back tonight even if you'd like. All right. Here we go. So, um, fair warning for those of you who are watching live. This is a long break. I'm not kidding when I say that. Uh, it does take some time. So, you know what? I should have done this earlier. Here, how about this? Drop. I'm going to drop the link to our hockey channel, Jaspi's Hockey Land. Go hang out with Jason Jaspi if you're not in this break or if you don't feel like watching this one. There it is. Check out the hockey channel. And break some hockey with Jason Jaspi. A lot of fun stuff on that website. And I think they're, they're giving away an Austin Matthews. Jason Jaspi is giving away an Austin, Austin Matthews autographed jersey. So he's the hot rookie this year. And well, that will be a cool thing to have. All right. Good luck. Curtis is like Bowman is the set is a set of players that you've never heard of, right? Well, there are some vets in here too and some second year rookie players, but yeah, they're mostly, uh, it's mostly prospects. Now, this is a popular prospect set. I mean, if you follow baseball pretty closely, most, most people should know some of these, some of these folks here. I mean, on the front, right? You got Andrew Benintendi, who's probably gonna be AL Rookie of the Year. And Nick Senzel was like the number two pick overall in the 2016 draft. So, there you go. So we're gonna open up all these packs first. Remember, paper does not ship. Are there Aaron Judge autos in this one? I have no idea. Maybe? Yes? No? There are Aaron Judge autos in this one. All right. Sure. Michael Z, you got the Bronx Bombers. That's pretty good. I've heard of him. Aaron Judge is playing pretty well. Is
Is that a redemption? Steve Harris seems to suggest it's a redemption. Redemption says confirms Carter. Awesome. All right. Well, let's look for those redemptions. And I remember, I remember like the September of last year, everyone was just like, oh, Aaron Judge is going to bust. Aaron Judge is playing terribly. Let's let maybe trade him in the offseason. I heard a lot of grumblings out of New York. But now, one of the, one of the hottest players in baseball now. All right, that's why I stretch out these hands. I stretch out these hands a little bit, but although I'm a long time guitar player, so my hands are already pretty strong, I have to admit. All right, so paper, sorry, not shipping. This stuff will ship. This paper in between sometimes is numbered, but the chrome will ship, paper we won't ship. I'm going to breeze through these cards just also mostly in the interest of uh, in the interest of time. We'll double check these papers. Sometimes the silver papers are really hard to spot um, in this set. So we'll double check the backs of the papers and most likely be shipping you some out of 499s or something like that. Kyle Freeland refractor 486 out of 499. Uh, for the Rockies, he's had a nice start to the season. So has the Rockies in general. Uh, these World Baseball Classic cards, we're also going to randomize these. Uh, I think there's just Japanese and Korean players, and um, they don't—they're not associated with any major league team. So unless they're numbered, we'll put them together as a lot, and we'll randomize them to someone in the break. We'll do a uh, separate recap video. So if you're watching the replay on YouTube. Or, and you're like, Joe, I don't want to sit through this hour and a half break or whatever. You don't have to. There'll be a separate recap video. There's Tyler O'Neill, ton. I thought that was numbered. It's not. Uh, who's the Korea guy, Curtis? What do you, what do you, in reference to who? This will ship. Diane Deweese, 121 out of 150 blue paper for the Cubs. That'll go to Justin Gutting. Um, and that Rockies chrome, or that Rockies refractor will go to Steve Harris. Uh, no, Rob Refsnyder is the Korean, uh, is the Korean player. That's who you're thinking of, I think. Yeah, Ref Snyder was adopted, um, and uh, so is Hank Conger, also also uh, ethnically Korean, but um, with Caucasian parents. Josh Donaldson, uh, 62 out of 250, all Americans, of course. Blue Jays, are here in the States. Um, paper, 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 Paul DeYoung. Uh, this is, these are buybacks, Edgar Renteria. Walker Bueller is one to watch, folks. The Dodgers pitching uh, farm system is really deep, so Walker Bueller. Oh, that's Eric Thames. You're, talk, you're thinking of Eric uh, Thames and uh, the Brewers. Sandy Alcantara autograph. 160 out of 250. So there, I think there's only one auto per, yeah, one auto per box. So that's our autograph right there. Cardinals, Joe P. Jersey Joe P. As opposed to Arizona Joe P. Yeah, Eric Thames. 
spent a lot of time in, in the Korean League. It's Cal Quantrill. And uh, finally got given a chance by the Milwaukee Brewers. Here's another buyback. The different stamps, I think, will indicate their short printedness. But we'll sleep. We'll have those sleeved up. That's just paper, and this is chrome. And I've got the hits right in front of me. So almost done with the first box. And we've got some gold. Eric Fed. 37 out of 50. Nice one for the Nationals. That goes to Brett. And is that some orange? Nice. Tyler Glass now. Orange. 3 out of 25. Hey, you're welcome, Joe. 3 out of 25. Tyler Glass now for the Pirates. I'll actually sleeve up the uh, the autos and keep those near me because we're gonna do we're gonna do a recap video a little bit later. All right, so the chrome cards are here, the paper base, which we'll double check in the back here. <laughs> no kid reporter cards in this, Curtis. That's Panini. That that's their thing. Uh, yes, and Steve Harris is correct. Three autographs in the Jumbo edition. We ran out of the Jumbo a while back. Although this year, speaking of Kid Reporter, I know, I know this is a Bowman video, but still, speaking of Kid Reporter cards, I think this year I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send the Kid Reporter cards to, to a, like a person in the break, and I want someone to win. I want someone's kid, basically, to win that Kid Reporter thing. And then send and have them wear like a Jaspie's Hobbyland T-shirt or something like that when they're kid reporting at the Super Bowl. So that's my that's my goal this year. I want someone to win that. Well, a, a Jaspie's parent to win that. So stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen. All right, box two. Uh, no, there's an age requirement, Curtis. Nick is like 36. You can't send him there. All right, a couple more packs. All right, here we go. Good luck. Paper. I see some purple peeking out there. There's Mike Trout. There's the purple. And it's Cal Quantrill. That's Paul's kid. 133 out of 250. Purple chrome for the Padres. That'll be Michael G. I like those parallels there. The old school cards. Antonio uh, Sensatella, twenty six out of four ninety nine. For the Rockies, Rockies Refractor for Steve Harris.
And we've got Andrew Miller. 14 out of 25 orange paper. Nice one for the tribe. That goes to uh, John Parker. Nice one, John. You got the old Wade Boggs. Nice. Nice buyback there for the Red Sox. That'll go to Todd B. And there's the autograph, Mickey Moniak. Wasn't Carter trying to uh, trade the Phillies? Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. There's the number one overall in 2016. Mickey Moniak autograph. Someone should have taken him up on his on that offer. Nice. Uh, let's set that there so we'll remind ourselves that was the auto. In case people are wondering if the auto has been pulled yet. It has. It's a nice one. It's Cody Bellinger. Oh, man. I'm putting the paper in the chrome pile. There you go. All right. <laughs> Uh, no, my nemesis is not in this product. Morali Fingers is not in this product. Uh, side bet, Gabriel says, I make it home first in LA traffic from Redondo Beach to Long Beach or Joe finishes this break. Wait, when did you leave? About 15 minutes ago? Mm, I might finish this break before you get home. Jamie Moyer. Look how young he looks there. Nice. That's uh, that's Cardinals edition of Jamie Moyer. That buyback will go to Joe P. Good old Jamie Moyer. There's Jose De Leon. This is still this will still go to the Dodgers. And red? Nah, that's the 70th anniversary red. Those are not numbered. So the ones that have those right there. But uh, there's still parallels. They will still ship. And those are your last two paper cards right there. All right. We are chugging along nicely. An awesome Mickey Moniak autograph, Carter. So that is strong right there. Nice, nice, nice. All right, next box. Let's keep going. We've got a couple oranges out there too, and I think if I'm not mistaken, the oranges are, are exclusive to the hobby edition of it. So those are the kind of the, the unique difference between the hobby cases and the jumbo cases. Darren, Porterhouse Steak, what's going on? Oh, man. Sorry about that. We do have rubber matting right here, so protect it from things like that. TJ, what's going on? So, uh, let's hear it, folks. What, 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 is your, uh, what is your favorite baseball team, and how are they doing this season? Give me a one-sentence answer. How, how are they doing? And maybe in a second sentence, what would you like to see them do? You know, like in the trade deadline, like what do you think they, they need to get to where they need to be? Well, it could just be more experience for young players. could be, you know, consistency in the lineup. All right, boss man, we'll see you. You know, do they need to make a key trade? Just get healthy? Talk a little baseball. All right. 
Next one. Bregman refractor. There's blue chrome AJ Puckett, 87 out of 150. That goes to the Royals, Tim Smith. All right. Uh, Darren says Nationals desperately need bullpen pitching, and so does Steve Harris. Steve Harris is saying Cubs and bullpen. It's Kit Pello buyback. And nice orange auto behind Rafael Devers, Justin Mace. 22 out of 25 orange chrome auto for the Blue Jays. That'll go to Darren McKenzie. And we'll randomize this separately. 14 out of 50. Sugano. Tomoyuki Sugano. Gold paper. Yeah, I have the basketball game on, Brandon Richards. Yeah, the oranges do look pretty sweet. And there's Jackie, Jackie Rexroad. Another buyback. That one will go to the Diamondbacks. Diamondback buyback. I heard I heard there may be some discussions about about Zach Granke going to the Cubs. I was listening to the uh, Baseball Tonight podcast with Buster Olney and him and Keith Law were suggesting were suggesting that uh, Granke could end up could end up uh, with the Cubs or Dodgers could be a possibility as well, but Granke's got a big contract that I think maybe represents like, what, 40, 40 to 50% of the Diamondbacks payroll. And I, you know, that in the long run, that's kind of not sustainable to have one guy take up so much of your payroll. I think, and I don't know if Diamondbacks are gonna be sellers, but but they might, they might talk. They might listen if someone's willing to maybe eat that contract or most of it, you know? That would be interesting. All right. Uh, yeah, Dave B, there will be more Spider-Man. Once I'm done with this break and then do the next two box break, and after that, I'll post some more. Post some more Spider-Man. Yes, and will be from a fresh case. Booney saying that uh, his Indians need to get Kluber back. Yeah, and some of the bats need to get going. Good overall numbers so far for the hitters, but I think yeah, I've got I've got Lindor and uh, Michael Brantley on my fantasy team. So yeah, I know in the last week Lindor is uh, not raking as he usually does. I mean everyone's gonna go have up and down parts of the season. But uh, Michael Brantley with a little bit of an ankle twist. I think he's keeping out of the lineup for a few days. 
Granky to the Dodgers would be interesting. I mean, you know, the 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 sort of irony is is that if the that if the uh, Dodgers get Granky now and even eat the entire contract, that would be the money that they wanted to pay him in the first place. I think that he uh, rejected and then went to the Diamondbacks instead. You know, Granky's back to kind of pitching in Grankyish ways, and and I think he would he would be a good a good addition to the Dodgers. But what do the Dodgers have to give up? Will the Diamondbacks, an in-division rival, be willing to send Granky to the Dodgers? You know? Don't know. Probably not. <laughs> um, I, you know, I don't know much about Yonder Alonso. What do you think about Yonder Alonso? Darren saying, hey, Cleveland... Trade Naquin to the Nats. Yeah, that Adam Eaton injury was was kind of a, a big hit for the Nationals. Nationals though are still constructed very very strong. That's gonna be that's gonna be that's gonna be a tough team to face in the playoffs. Dave Dunning, Blue Chrome. These 70th anniversary ones, again, are not numbered, but they'll still ship. Obviously, they're chrome. Dansby Swanson. A little slow start for him. But he should be fine. Wait, where does where does Yonder Alonso play? Why am, I, why am I blanking on where he plays? There's a Shane Monahan buyback for the Mariners. Pulled that Mickey Moniak autograph earlier, and look at that, David Dahl, Rookie of the Year favorites. 19 out of 25 for the Rockies. Stephen Harris. Nice. That's a nice David Dahl. Once he's back from, from the DL, yeah, he probably could challenge for Rookie of the Year. You're welcome, Steve. Yeah, sure, Mothro, thanks. What, so he's on the he's on the Padres, Clemson? Or A's, I mean. Matt Chapman. 002 out of 250. Purple paper. Um, if you're on the A's, news stories from from Oakland tend from the Oakland A's tend to get a little buried. How old is Yonder Alonso? There's Chase Utley, Phillies edition, buyback. Matt Manning refractor, 418 to 499 for the Tigers for Allen. All right. Next box coming up.
He's 30, huh? Well, you know what? If I'm the, uh, if I'm the A's, I would trade him. That's the autograph. I, w I would trade him, uh, I would trade him right away. <laughs> Get prospects. You know, build, keep building that farm system. Just keep getting younger players. Because one of these days, you keep collecting prospects and assets like that. One of these days, it's going to click and they're just going to have a really young team. You know, maybe supplemented with a couple of veterans that'll, that'll blow up. And you'll have them under team control for like a while. Oh, is that what that trade was? That's what Gabriel was saying. Oh, you're a Braves fan, says Clemson Cards. Uh, when are the Braves going to get a new stadium? When's their new stadium coming up? Yeah, you, you can build an all Gabriel. You can build an all-star team with the with the sort of players that the Padre have traded away over the years. Oh, I know they have a new stadium now, but you know what? Every every ten years they build a new stadium, right? So, when's their next one? Where's their next one going to be? Fifteen every fifteen years they they switch stadiums, right? So I know they have the new one now, but I'm sure they're already looking ahead in the next ten years for the next one. They always get new stadiums. All right. Next box. We got Ronald Guzman, purple chrome. 238 out of 250 for the Rangers. That will go to Corey K. Oh, come on. This is going to kill me. This upside down, right side up stuff. There's Jonathan Lucroy, blue foil buyback. I think you can look this up. You can tell by the foil. I mean, we're, we're going to sleeve those up and everything, but you can tell by the foil, like how short printed they are or not. And wow, Chrome rookie autograph, Aaron Judge. Didn't even expect, didn't even see the redemption coming. Done. Well, Michael Z, I guess you can take a break. You don't have to watch this break anymore. One of the hottest hitters in baseball right now. Just hitting hitting dingers left and right. Aaron Judge. We'll set that right there. Uh, Steve Harris says that the blue foils are supposed to be the lowest short print on those buybacks, right? So Brewers, there you go. That's Brewers edition. Call him a toy with that buyback. Oh, you're welcome, Michael Z. He's like, I can't believe it. Well, you wanted it. We had to deliver. Asking you shall receive. I wish it was that easy, but hey, congrats, man. Darren saying, Judge, is this year's Trevor Story story? It seems like it. Well, Trevor Story struggling this year, though. So, 
with that cautionary tale of Trevor's story, that story, that's Trevor's story story, answer me this, um, who's for real? Trevor Story or Aaron Judge, like in the long run? Dance be Swanson over both of them. Oh yeah, TJ. They have. They have. They had four back to back, four rookie of the years in a row in the mid '90s, with I think Piazza, Caros, Hollinsworth, and Hideo Nomo or something like that. Um, and I think, I think back when the award started, Jackie Robinson won the first one, and I want to say, there the Dodgers won another one. There's Daryl Boston right there, buyback. I think there was the next year after that, the Dodgers won it again, I think. So, so they have a couple times in their history or in the history of the Rookie of the Year award. But yeah, it's possible that, uh, that you know, Bellinger is, is the most likely front runner for NL Rookie of the Year. So Seeger, Seeger and Bellinger, and then who else next year after that? Walker Bueller the next year. Urias has already met his uh, his rookie limit. Nice Aaron Judge. Chris Taylor may may log in too many at bats. This season, to go for no, I, I don't think he's even a rookie, right? I think he may have he may have filled up his rookie eligibility with the Mariners. I want to say, I don't know what other Dodger is coming up the pipeline that could win a third. Like if if Bellinger wins this year, could they make it three in a row? I guess Alex Verdugo maybe if he gets called up. Walker Bueller might end up with the Dodgers, maybe now. I don't know. Dodgers have kind of a kind of a backlog of starting pitchers, though. Willie Calhoun. See, well, here, well, here's what I've heard though, TJ, is that Willie Calhoun has has a thunder stick for a bat, but maybe has. Uh, bricks for hands. So I don't know where you where you put him. Who Walker Bueller? They're treating his arm like gold. It is, I think. I mean, he played college, so he's he's pretty close. Oh, uh, Yadi, right? Yadier Alvarez, I think Gabriel is who you're thinking of. I mean, that guy might force his way into the into the rotation or the bullpen at least soon. All right, next one. Good luck, everybody. I see a little orange peeking out right here, which is something to look forward to. There he is. There's Walker Bueller right now. Big pick for the Dodgers. Uh, I think started off his first year, his first pro year on the DL with an, with a with a with Tommy John surgery, but he was a great pitcher for Vanderbilt, I believe, um, and he was drafted pretty high by the Dodgers, highly touted. These ones aren't numbered, by the way. And um, but had Tommy John, but has come back pretty healthy, and I don't think he's, from what little I've heard, I don't think he's lost. Uh, 
too much velocity. There's out of refractor Paul Quantrill for the Padres. Hasn't lost too much velocity. Stuff se still seems sharp, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, the Dodgers have a Gavin Lux. He's a little ways away. I think I think he was a he's a high school prospect, and he's plays a plays a position that's currently blocked by Corey Seager. Corey Seager's not going anywhere, so he might have to might have to shift around. And here comes the orange. It's it's an orange Blake Rutherford. Nice. 7 out of 25, Blake Rutherford for the Bronx Bombers. Nice out of 25 for uh, Michael Z. Got the Aaron Judge auto. There's Willie Calhoun. Um, got the Aaron Judge auto. Got, got orange as well. So pretty nice break thus far. Another buyback for the Padres, Greg Sane, buyback. And Luis uh, Carpio is your on-card auto, Metropolitan's Michael Yin. So we've got two Michaels with both New York teams. Another buyback. John Orton for the Angels. Tyler Glass now part of the uh, that young pitching crew right there. But did you guys hear about Jameson Tyon? He he went on the DL with with growing discomfort, which turned out to be a surgery for a potentially cancerous testicle. There's Tim Anderson, got a big extension in the offseason. 179 out of 250 purple paper. For the White Sox, Stephen Harris. So, James and Tyon, feel better. Oh, I, I just thought it was kind of, kind of like, you know, absurdly hilarious that it was like, it's like, that's not just growing discomfort. That's not just a 10-day DL. So hopefully he gets better soon. All right, next box. That's we're we're halfway there, folks. See, time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, he's just playing with one ball, Curtis. That's right. Yeah, he he joins the ranks of uh, other athletes with one, but man, I hope he, hope James, I mean, James and Tyon is one, one of their, one of their young, you know, up and coming stars. So, so hopefully he gets better soon. It's always, always scary. No, not at all, Michael G. I wasn't intending to do that. I'm just saying that it was just, you got growing discomfort is a big difference from, from growing discomfort to, to that kind of surgery. I think every, everyone in baseball was pretty shocked to hear about that, you know? Because the Pirates just, I think the Pirates announced it after the surgery. And everyone's like, whoa. <laughs> but apparently, apparently, they, you know, they got it way, like, super early. They were, they were very pro proactive, you know? So.
but yeah, Tyler Glass now and uh, and James and Tyon represent kind of the future front end of the rotation, um, front end of the rotation for the Pirates for years to come. So, oh yeah, they had to remove it, Curtis. Yeah, there's it's. There's really kind of, kind of kind of no no way around it, you know. If it's like, well, that's the issue. Well, that's got to go. There he is, right there. Get well, James and Tyon. Hopefully, he's back on the mound soon. I think that Bo Bichette paper card that I that I just go that I went through is a uh, is is Dante's kid. Owen says, "Open up all the packs from all boxes at once, then show it. It might make it faster." Who says I want to go faster, Owen? You can't tell me what to do. You don't think I don't know that? I've been doing this for a minute or two. It's not my it's not my first break, Owen. Relax, man. Kick back. Enjoy the ride. When you start your own break channel, Owen, you can do you can you can open this up however you would like. Uh, we do not sell personals, who that? All right, hey, what's going on? All right, got that order taken care of. And we'll go with this orange right here. Adonis Medina. Two out of 25. Nice orange for the Phillies. Goes along nicely. Uh, Carter with that Moniac. There's an Aaron Hill Diamondbacks buyback. Diamondback buyback. And there it is. There's the auto. Rymel Tapia. 50 out of 499. Refractor auto for the Rockies. Goes along nicely. Stephen Harris with the David Dahl autograph from earlier. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, for the mint random number break, it would be the left side. Paul DeYoung, 11 out of 25. Nice orange paper for the Cardinals, Joe P. Hey, you're welcome, Steve. Michael Waka 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 paper buyback. Uh, no, not nine total spots. You know all the, the it's in the description. Who dat? If you click the link on the website, all of your questions are answered in there. Nice, 23 out of 50, AJ Puck, Yario Munoz, and Franklin Barreto. Nice talent pipeline, gold parallel. <laughs> it's not a big deal about it, Owen. It's just, uh, you know, just don't presume that there is a good or bad way of doing it. We just have our own way of doing it. And I just want to remind you that that we that Jaspi's Hobbyland has been in operation five six nights a week for the last three years, so it's not our first rodeo, my friend. Just want to let you know.
Oh yeah, hey, I warned everybody. Brandon Richard, this is gonna be like a, a solid hour and a half break. I wasn't lying. I'm already a cool DJ, Mothro. All the all the music playlists I make are crafted by me. I'm already a DJ. Unless you want me to DJ like at a club, but I don't know if we could do case breaks at a club. We could do case breaks at a club. That'd be pretty cool. Who wants to come out to LA and uh, and go clubbing with us and do case breaks? Uh, yes, there will, John. I'm going to do this break. We have a two-box Spider-Man break filled up, and I'm going to add another two-box break after I'm done with that particular Spider-Man break, and then we'll go from there. Right, cruising along. There's Austin Meadows, another big Pirates prospect. Moniac pulled his autograph earlier. Liber Torres. All right, this will be randomized separately too. That's a refractor. I'll sleeve those up a little bit later. Joe Musgrove, 40 out of 150, blue paper for the Astros. David Kist with that one. Sure, yeah. Well, it's not my pug. It's my roommate's pug, but yeah, we can we can we can borrow it. <laughs> we can borrow it for for park purposes. Right, and the boss man can drive around in the Tesla. <laughs> yeah, these Bowman brakes help pay for that for boss man's Tesla. <laughs> nice Bellinger. Arnold Goosh. Nice. Oh, yeah. And by the way, um, oh, nice. There's Ronald Kuna, Tribe, Refractor Auto for the Indians, John Parker, 349 out of 499. Um, Boss Man just signed his autographs for, for, his, uh, for Alan and Ginter today. The tops representative came by, brought the cards over. You know, we spread it out on the break table right here, and uh, he signed his his Ginter mini cards, which is pretty exciting. So, needless to say, we'll be uh, we'll be breaking a lot of Ginter. We got to find the boss man, right? I'm sure we'll have some sort of promo go on for that. Find the boss man. Where's the boss man? In in Ginter. Oh, that'd be great. Like you'd win some sort of. Uh... There's Luke Hochevar, who's actually a big prospect name coming up the ranks. Uh, he would probably be uh, randomized because he wouldn't be associated with a with a professional baseball team. <laughs> Sensatella for the Rockies, purple, 25 out of 250. I like it when the the parallel matches the team, Steve Harris. All right. And that's it. Four boxes to go.
Uh, parallels for what? For the boss man, Anthony? He did not actually sign any pair. I didn't see him signing. They were all... They were all mini. And they are going to be framed. But I don't think there are any parallels. Alright, there's the Braves. Uh, for Tammy. There you go, Tammy. Uh, Ginter should come out in... When does that come out? August? July? August? Something like that? Traditionally, that's when it comes out. Yeah, Bossman is definitely on card. Hard to put a, hard to put a sticker on a mini. Um, oh, I did take a video, Mothro. Uh, I think we're going to post it on YouTube sometime soon no no red ink autos they they just brought the they just brought the blue pen and they just gave him the blue pen oh there you go steve see it all works out steve harris steve harris is like hey joe he's like i'll be honest with you man i wasn't thrilled when i got the rockies but i made it worth it four boxes left already happy yeah see you never know what happens you know in breaks like this you, know, you just kind of have to roll the dice Play to the whistle, see what happens. You know, I always tell people like when they get randomized, like the Dodgers or the or the Cowboys in 2016. And I'm like, and they're like, yeah, this is awesome. And it's like, well, it's only awesome if I pull you a big hit. You know, if I hit, if you, you know, if I pull you something. But you're welcome. I'm glad you got in. Uh, correct, Anthony. There. <laughs> Zima, yeah, no, no redemptions for the boss man. I, I, I saw him with my own eyes. I have a picture I took. I'll probably post that on Twitter a little bit later, or maybe tomorrow. So yeah, no, no redemptions. Boss man will not, will not be a redemption. I can imagine all the other guys who are going to be breaking Alan and Ginter. <laughs> They're going to be like, what the hell? Why is Jaspi's Hobbyland in here? I think he does give the website a shout out on the back of the car. The information should have that. Bossman's predicting that 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 the value of his cards on the secondary market are are going to go through the roof. He was optimistic about it. He was just like, I don't know, probably probably. He's like, I'd probably sell more than Ezekiel Elliott, is what he said. I think I heard that quote. I think I heard that quote. I may sell for more than an Ezekiel Elliott rookie. Chance Cisco Orioles at a four ninety nine. That goes to, uh, I don't know who that goes to. Oh, the Orioles-Marlins combo team. What'd you pull? Oh, well, the first pick was like a six out of seven. Nylander, and then we're doing Premier. Oh, yeah, I heard of that guy, Connor yeah. McDavid. <laughs> nice. Well, hey, listen, folks, if you're, not, if you're not in this break or if you're like, Joe, I don't want to watch this for this long, we've got another channel, Hockey Land. You can hang out with Jason Jasby, who's pulling fire out of his hockey breaks. You don't know much about hockey? We'll learn about it. You can learn about it. With Jason Jaspi. There's a cool crew in there. Um, I believe the boss man is a short print, from what I understand, Mothro and John. Because I only saw him sign like 10 or 15 cards. So it's not like they gave him a stack of cards. There's Cal Quantrill again. Not numbered, but that'll go to the Padres. So he'll have autos, and I believe he'll just have the regular mini cards, I believe.
And don't let Curtis fool you, folks. He knows exactly what hockey is. He's from the Great White North. He's a Canadian. Kristen Yelich, buyback for the Marlins, also goes to John. And Nick Solak for the Bronx Bombers, Michael Z with another one. Yankees hitting well. That Aaron Judge redemption earlier was pretty strong. Uh, I did not see any relics. No, 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 no relics or no autograph relics anyway. His picture looks good though. There's Orlando Hudson. Remember Orlando Hudson? This is Diamondbacks edition right there. That's a buyback for the D-backs. All right, three boxes to go, folks. We're almost there. See, time flies when you're having fun. People people look at their, their watches and be like, hey, that wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't. In fact, folks, there is another random team break of this on the website right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Um, well, no, no, Mothra, there's only going to be 10 or 15 autographs of the boss man, mini autos, which I believe are going to be framed. I think all the auto mini autos are framed, right? So I believe there, uh, no number on that, by the way, Mike. Um, yeah, so, so there'll be other, like just regular mini car. I have no idea how many they're going to be. I believe they're going to be short printed compared to some of the other mini cards in there, but only like 10 or 15 of them are going to be autographed, but there'll be other just regular cards. Mini cards, I believe. What relic would the boss man provide? Well, I would hope he would he would give them a Jaspie's Hobbyland T-shirt. Make sure they just tell him to cut like the logo. <laughs> That's what it would be. Yeah, if I had if I if I had to give up a relic, I, it would be like yeah, it would be a Jaspie's Hobby and T-shirt, maybe a hat, one of my iconic hats. Yeah, I call that iconic. <laughs> Uh, they won't be that different. They'll look like any of the other mini cards that look like that that feature a person, or that feature like you know. Because if you remember from last year uh, or years past, they'll have like like surfers on there. They'll have like you know musicians or artists or whatever, and they'll they'll have different personalities on those like mi on those mini cards, and they'll just pretty much look look the same. You know, I have no idea where that Panini to that that Panini basketball player of the day tote bag went. That's that's in the that's in the vault somewhere. <laughs> it's either in the vault or it's probably in the vault, the goodie vault. We don't have a goodie vault. <laughs> we have no space for a goodie vault. Oh, Dodger Laker hats. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. I've got an I've got an old Dodger hat that may need. Well, it's hard for me to retire that old Dodger hat, but I think I may need to to get a new hat just to get it into the rotation. You know, just to preserve the old beat up Dodger hat for for a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer.
Nice Orlando Arcia, not numbered, but that will ship. No, we don't. We don't have a goodie garden. We have a. We have the big hit garden, where we plant seeds for these cases, and then we water them. There's Matt Tyus, blue, for the Angels. Help them grow. Nice rookie of the year favorite, Aaron Judge. I haven't seen the auto out of this one yet. Auto? No. Jack Doherty. Doherty. Bye, bad. And there it is. Another Ronald Acuna for the Braves and Tammy. Nice one there. And we're almost to the end, folks. Thanks for hanging out and watching. We got Dennis Boucher. We've got a David with the same last name. I wonder if they're related. Ulysses Gurdiel. Purple paper, AJ Puckett. 006 out of 250. Purple paper for the Royals. That's another one, I think, for Tim Smith. All right, two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Almost there. Stay on target. That's what we do, Mothra. We grow cards. We just planted a bunch of seeds uh, for, uh, for a bunch of football product later this year. We have um, we have uh, I think we planted some seeds for 2017 classics. Those grow like potatoes. They grow in the ground. Classics football. You have to dig them up out of the ground. Stuff like natural treasures. They're like fruit on a tree. You grab them. You, you pull them off of a tree. This Bowman baseball is also like a potato. You, you got you to gotta dig it up out of the ground. Yeah, Michael G says, let's get that NT or Spectra moving. I would love to. Uh, after this break, I'm going to take a quick dinner break. And then I'll come back and I'll do two boxes of Spider-Man. Then I'll post another two boxes of Spider-Man. And then we'll see what else is filled up by then. We still have plenty. Even after this break is done, and even after the Spider-Man, we'll still have plenty of time to break. We'll have, you know, we'll have a long time to break. Probably another four, four hours of breaking after that. So, so my suggestion is... If you're, especially if you're not in this break, if you're not really, if you're only like half paying attention, like go to the website, go to jazbeeshobbyland.com, start placing your orders, start buying things out, you know, like, because really it's, it's the orders that will get some momentum going. So get some momentum going, folks. If people start to say, oh, hey, I just got a few spots here and someone else will be like, I just got a few spots there. You know, and as people say that, and they go to the website, jazbeeshobbyland.com, and they start to see, like, the spots left number start to tick down a little bit. That'll encourage more people to buy. And it's all about momentum, folks. It's all about momentum.
All right, so we're, at, we're in the uh, second to last box. We're almost done. It's been a pretty nice break. I'll do a, I'll do a recap in a separate video. But I think I think once you kind of look at the recap, you'll be like, hey, that was actually, you know, a pretty nice break. Sometimes it's easy to forget how nice one of these longer breaks can be, just because there's so much time in between, like hits. Remember Brandon Webb? So much time in between hits. But I think once you kind of see the autographs and, and whatnot that we pulled, I think you can see some pretty nice stuff. Nice. Wilson Contreras, gold paper for Justin Gutting and the Cubs. 39 out of 50. Gold paper. Get that paper. Still haven't seen the autograph yet. There's Red Sox edition. Chris Sale. Uh, paper does not ship, Anthony. Some gold right there. You see that gold peeking out? Gold auto? No, but another Ronald Acuna. Out of uh, 50, was that three out of 50? Yeah, three out of 50 on that one for Tammy and the Braves. Rafael Devers, this paper will ship 141 out of 150. It's just paper base, not shipping. That Sunny Gray will ship. That's a buyback for the A's. No auto? Can we get shorted an auto? Ah, oh, there it is. Alex Reyes. Nice. For the Cardinals. That goes to Joe P. Jersey Joe P. So nice Alex Reyes auto. Unfortunate uh, Tommy John surgery for Alex Reyes. He was poised to really break out this season, but looks like we'll have to wait till next season on that one. All right. That was the second to last box. What'd you get, Joe? Oh yeah, I don't know. I probably I forgot. It's been so it's been so long ago. I forgot that even it was here. <laughs> All right, Alex Reyes. Nice. Oh, sorry. Knocked that almost knocked that camera. Or last box, folks. We did it. Good luck, everybody. Our final box. We made it. We we're like midway through the third quarter. This took me through halftime of the basketball game. The Rockets uh, Spurs game, game six. Like the end of the first, or end of the, yeah, like the end of the first half, through halftime. And then pretty much, well, we got 430 left. 450 left in the uh, third quarter. Yeah, we got we got people all over the world, Porterhouse. Got people all over the world. Mostly here in the States, but we got some people from the UK, South Africa, Germany, some folks in Asia, Australia. We are we are global, we are worldwide. We're the worldwide leader. A lot of people on the West Coast, Arizona, Midwest. We got a lot of people, Tim, from Minnesota. We got a good crew in Minnesota. Uh, Wisconsin area, got a lot of folks there. Chicagoland, a lot of people from Chicagoland. Um, Oklahoma, Texas, a lot of folks from there. Got a good handful of people from uh, North Carolina too, I believe. A 
Virginia, North Carolina area, West Virginia, Ohio. We're all over the place, folks. We are truly a wide-reaching and diverse crew. I like it. You, you may. Are you the only Virginian? No, there's got to be other people that hail from Virginia, from the Commonwealth, right? There's Gliber Torres. The blue chrome 70th anniversary ones are not numbered. Still a nice one. I don't know. Hey, Virginians, those from the Commonwealth, speak now or forever hold your peace. There you go. Booney used to live in Virginia. Brandon Tim's also in Wisconsin. Yeah, we got, we got a lot of people in Wisconsin for, for some reason. Jaspies plays well in Wisconsin, apparently. There's Dave Otto buyback for the A's. And another Philly. Elniri Garcia. Nice. 10 out of 25. That goes nicely with that Moniac from earlier, Carter. There you go. Ryan Healy, blue paper. 123 out of 150. All right, so now we got the autograph. Let's see what other low-numbered parallels we can find out of here before we close this break down. We'll do a quick randomizer. And you know what, I'm gonna do the randomizer and the recap in a separate video together. There's Rusty Greer. Rusty Greer, Rangers edition. Do I see some orange back there? Might, might see another orange before this is done, yep. And it's Bo Burrows, orange, for the Tigers, Alan Murdoch. 21 out of 25 on the orange chrome Bo Burrows. Aaron Judge saw his autograph or his redemption earlier. That was a nice one. And orange paper, Axe Kirilov. Nice. 25 out of 25 orange paper. That goes to Jimmy Wolfrey with the Twins. There you go, Jimmy. A little something for you at the end. All right, and we're almost done. Thanks very much, everyone. Really appreciate it. Close out with one of my favorite names of the hobby, Ryan Mountcastle. So there it is. That's the break. Um, in a separate video on our YouTube, so subscribe to our YouTube. In a separate video, there'll be a recap video and the randomizer for those World Baseball Classic cards. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We have another random team case of this in the store right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com. This is Joe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. We made it.